So hello everybody, how are you today? It's Friday, it's another Friday, another DAX Friday, so I teach a DAX function every Friday. This time we're going to review, revise the natural inner join uh, function in DAX because sometimes you can get an error. And uh, we're going to use a Power BI file that I have here that I have used to explain all joins. So we have two tables, one stock table with product and stock location, and then we have another one with manufacturing products, where you have the, pro the table with the products that you manufacture, and we've been doing all kinds of joins, inner join, outer join, left join, right join, anything. So what we're going to do today is, when I explain the natural inner join, I just join both tables together, like that, and then it worked, right? Now, what happens if we want to cherry pick? What happens if we want to pick this column from here and that column from there because we have huge tables and we don't want to join everything. Let me show you what happens. If we go here to modeling new table and uh, we write, uh, let's put some inner join lineage. You probably know what's going to happen. Okay, equal to a natural inner join. If you don't know how natural inner join, check the videos of joins, okay? So what we're going to do, instead of just grabbing the two tables, we're going to pick some um, columns instead. And for that, we use the function select columns, and we pick from the stock table, which we have one, that, oh, a stock table. We're going to pick uh, we're going to create a column that we are going to call ID and that is going to be a stock ID. Great. And now we're going to pick the next column, select columns, and then we're going to pick the manufacturing products table and we are going to call it obviously ID. So they, and then we're going to get manufacturing, manu, oh my God, there. And we close the parentheses, we press enter. Uh, what? It says an incomp incompatible join column was detected. Natural inner join doesn't support joins by columns with different data types or lineage. Here's the thing I won't have time to explain what lineage is in this video, but I'm definitely going to explain it in another video. Okay, so let's, let, what I'm going to do is show you how to fix this so you know and then we talk about lineage in another video it takes some time to do that so what we need to do is to change the data type of the virtual tables created behind for it to be able to do the join and because the stock product it is tied as number it is enough if i just add an operation like that i've changed the lineage of the columns and then suddenly the joins happens. If you have a text, you do a concatenate, concatenate it with nothing or, you know, you just add some text so you change the lineage of the columns and that will solve that problem. Unfortunately, I'm running out of time today. I shouldn't be making this video at all, but I don't want to leave you without it. Thanks for this video. I have to run to a sweet target conference like now. So, Take care, have a fantastic weekend. I hope this helps. If you want to know more about Linux before I make the video, Google SQLBI guys and other guys just have some uh, papers on that. So you, you know everything about Linux and what it is. So I'll see you again on Monday. Until then, take care, have a fantastic weekend. Bye.